In this video, I will show you how to create tables and format the tables in Google Slides. So let's get started. To create the table, go to insert, go to table and select the number of rows and columns. In this case, I'll just select two columns and four rows. And now you see you can resize it. So just go to the corner and press shift and you can resize it. You see here, I can resize it. And now what I'm going to do is I can add or delete a particular row or column if I want to add it. So let's say if I come here at cell number one and if I want to add a new column, I can just give right click and say insert column to the left or I can just say insert column to the right. And you see one column has been created. In the same way, if you want to add a new row, you can just go to that particular cell, just give right click and just say insert row above or insert row below. In the same way, you can just delete a particular row or you can delete a column as well as delete the table also. Let's say I want to insert a row, I'll click insert row above. If you want to make a particular cell transparent, you can do that as well. For that, go to border color. And now you see you have an option of transparent. And now you see this particular cell is transparent. Now I'll just undo it so that this particular cell is visible with all the borders properly so that I can show you and I can proceed further. You can change the border style like border color, border weight and border dash as well. For the same, you just go to this particular section that is border color and you see you have an option of changing the border color, let's say red. And now you see the border color is set to red. Let me just undo it. And again, you see here you have border weight. So if you want, you can just change the boldness of the border. So if I just say four pixel now, you see the border has more weight. Similarly, you can change the style of a particular border. Let's say if I want to have this dash, I can just select this. In the same way, if I can select the entire table and I just go here in border weight, I can just set a particular border weight for all the cells of this table. Click eight pixel and you see eight pixel is applied to all the cells of the table. In the same way, go to border dash and you can change the particular style for all the cells and let's say I want to have a simple solid, I can just keep it like solid. To add the content to a particular cell, just go inside the cell, alright, I'll just come here and I can write anything, for example, you see, I can write any data or what you can do is, let me just undo it and the other way is, you can go to your Google Sheets and insert the data to Google Slide. Let's say I have a data like this, so what I'm going to do is, I'll just copy this data, just give Control C in Windows or Command C in Mac. Just come here in Google Slides and just give Control V in Windows and in Mac it is Command V. Now you see that I have copied the data from Google Sheets to Google Slide, but the data is not formatted properly. To format the data or to align the data, what you can do is you can just select here, you can just select your table and you have an option. You see, if you just come here, you have align option and it is better to keep the cells aligned to center so all the text will be aligned to center and now you see the text is aligned to center in the same way if you want to change the background color you have an option of fill color and let's say if i just choose this you see the background color of all the cells are changed to this particular color in the same way you can change the font style or font size as well so let's say i want to change the font style to another style let's say Comic Sans MS and now you see this particular text has changed the style. In the same way I can just increase the font size. You see if I just click on this plus button you see I can increase the font size. In the same way I have lot of other options which you can see in this particular toolbar and you can apply to the table. Normally what I do is I keep my header of the table as bold. For that just select the first row. So you just select the first row by pressing shift or you can just press control and go to the next cell. Now, once you select this, at the top, you have an option of bolding it. So if I just click B, you see now it has bold. I can change a different color of my header. So let's select white color. And now this particular header is having white color. In the background also, I can just change a particular color. Let's say I can just change to this dark gray tree. And now 
my header is having a different color. So in this way, you can play around with your tables and try to format it. Hey people, first of all, sorry for this interruption. Just before this point, I recorded this video yesterday and I went back home and I realized that I missed to tell you one important point. So the point is that, let's say I'm into this new slide and yesterday I showed you that if I just go to insert, go to table, I can select the skeleton of my table, let's say 3 by 6 and if I just go to my Google Sheet, let me just copy this. So if I just give control C and yesterday what I did is I came to a particular cell that is in this case cell number 1 and I just gave control V to paste it. Now in this way you can directly paste the data. But what happens is sometimes you want to link your Google Sheets with your Google Slides. For that what you have to do is let's say if I just create another slide and now in this case I don't have to choose the skeleton of the table. Directly what I can do is I can just go to my Google Sheet copy this data so I'll just give control C and I'll come back to my Google Slides and here I'll just give control V and you have two options. These options are related to your linking so whether you want to link your spreadsheet that means Google Sheets with your Google Slides or you don't want to link it. So the first option is all about linking and I always suggest to choose the first option so that if you update any data in your Google Sheet and if you come back to your Google Slides you can always update that data. But in case of the second option that is paste unlinked, once you break that link, there is no connection between Google Sheets and your Google Slides. So this is just like plain copying. So if I just show you, let me just select the first option, click on paste and now you will see that if I select this, you see if I just drag it down and let me just bring it a little down. Now you see if I just go back to my Google Sheet, if I just change anything here, let's say if I change it to 80 and now you see if I just come back to my Google slide, you see I have an option to update this data. So if I click on this option, you'll notice that the same value that is 80 is updated. Let me just show you again. Let's say for 76, I added 89 and now this is saved automatically. If I come back to my Google slides, now you see I'll be having an option to update. So click on this update button and now you see the 89 value is present in my Google Doc. So that's it. I just wanted to show you so that I should not miss this important point. So if you gained a value from this particular video, please like the video. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe us. And we have a complete tutorial on Google Slides. Please go to our channel and watch it. So thanks. If you like it, please share with your other friends or your social media. Thanks for joining. Take care. Bye bye. Tata.